Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and I thought I'd do something a little different. Excuse the sweats, but I am going to try to organize my office. So I've already kind of started, and then I thought, hey, I should document this, because <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So at this point, I'm just going to show you. Um, it's just, so I have a lot of shelves. Okay, there's these shelves, and then there's all those shelves. Yes book goodness. But the problem is I have a whole stack of books there. Sorry. Okay, I can't do this this way. I gotta switch the camera around or the phone around. And then on here I have all these ones that are the wrong way. And then um, I do have a whole stack of books I'm getting rid of, but I'm gonna add to that. Why is this hair in my face? Anyway. Oh. Anyway, so um, I'm going to... Um, First, organize all the crap I have down here. So what happened is I cleaned out my closet a little while ago, <laughs> probably June. <laughs> my mom and I were here and she's, my, she's the one who gets me started on my projects and then I'm supposed to finish them <laughs> and I don't. Anyway, I'm a procrastinator. We come from a procrastinator family. My mom's really good about getting me to start stuff, but you know she has the same problem at her house and she can't get to finish it or my dad to finish anything. So it's a family thing. Anyway, so um, I did organize the closet and did buy a like a cool little, like like a set, like, oh, I don't know. You, I can't show this. This is ridiculous. Anyway, I'll have to flip the camera around. Anyway, the point is, is I have space in the closet now but I haven't put the stuff in the closet. It's out here in bins that I need to go through because some of it's bills, old bills, and I have a file cabinet I want to go through. So I want to do that. And then I think I'm going to purge my books. And um, I mean, I do this every once in a while and I did do it not too long ago. I mean, I did get rid of a lot of stuff down here that I wanted to shelf. And so I decided, do I want those books? Am I ever going to read them again? And I said, no. So um, I have a whole lot of books I saved from earlier this year that I did my other purge this year that I saved for six months to decide if I'm going, if I want to read them. And I have not gone to look for those books. So I think all those will be added. But then I bought so many books this summer and this fall so far that I need to reorganize my books. And I do have, um, just, uh, just so you know, okay. So as we travel through the house, I do have my new um, uh, TV entertainment bookshelf, which I should fill. I only have my Red Spine vintage ones, and then I have a TBR shelf and library books, and then my Slum Electronics, and then of course I have my TBR shelves, my top 100 pretty much of what I want to grab. This needs to be changed too because I've gotten so many new books that I want to switch out some of the books I have here for ones I really do want to read. <laughs> and then... Just so you see how many books. Now I'm not taking you upstairs because that's all, oh, well, there's stuff, we'll, we'll talk about that. Anyway, and then this is my nonfiction, which again, um, will change after nonfiction November because I'm gonna try to read some of those in November. But because of my fail this month at Victober, I have decided that I can't do a full month of anything anymore. And read-alongs right now are, read-a-thons are kind of hard for me. Um, I'm having trouble focusing and um, I think it's just because I did so many this summer and um, I just can't do any more. And uh, I do have kitties following me from room to room. Anyway, so here we are. I'm going to do some work in my office <laughs> and try to get all the books on my shelf. But first I got to clear off all the stuff in the floor so that this space is actually open and I can move my chair, my lovely reading chair. Um, <laughs> either over to the side or move it. I don't know. Do you guys want to see different angles of my books? I don't know. I haven't, I've had it over here because I, <laughs> since I, almost since I got the chair, I've had too much stuff in here. So I have to, um, I really want to get this fixed before November. So the whole, big thing is NaNoWriMo is coming and um, I will be doing a lot of writing. So I will be using my desk a lot. And um, I want to make sure, as you can see, books everywhere. So I need to clean it up. So that space is all clean. Um, as well as this little, uh, this, this down here. So I have space for things. Boy, I'm not doing a really good job of this. I don't know if anybody's going to watch this. I probably should redo this. Oh, whatever. We'll see what happens. Uh, once I play around, I just wanted to document 
how it looked at the beginning. Okay, bye. Okay, just a quick update. I've been at it for, oh, I don't even know how long. Oh, it looks like an hour. And uh, I've uh, made some piles of stuff to get rid of, trash and recycling. And then I have those two paper boxes still to go through. And then um, I have some bins that I can figure out what to do with. So I'm halfway there. There's nothing over there now. Look, I'm getting closer. It's getting closer. We'll see how this goes. I mean, I still need to do my filing. That'll probably be another day. I don't want to do my filing. It's a whole big bin, that big one underneath. Okay, so I've gotten nearly everything out. All I have is the books so far that I've already collected. I have all my notebook stuff for uh, writing. I have to put that into another room. But I got all the boxes out. I got all the trash. So all I have left to do enough is all the books. And then, as I said, I have to rearrange stuff. So now I think I'm going to go through and start pulling books that I don't think I'm going to read again or that I've had on my shelf for years that I probably am never going to read. And if I do want to read them, I can get them again. But really... A lot of these books, of course, are staying. It's just, um, I do need to get rid of some books. There's a lot of books here that have been here a long time that I will never read or read again. So we will, we will hopefully get a good stack. Hey guys, so I am done for now. I'll show you here in a minute, at least that the floor is clean. I still have books to organize and I do have a healthy stack of stuff I'm gonna get rid, to, rid of. I'm not, I haven't pulled out the stuff that I had stored from six months ago that I plan to get rid of or I was, I. Put them away to see if I really want to get rid of them or not. And since I haven't even looked for them, I'm going to get rid of them. So, and there are a lot of books that were like series I started and I was like, meh. So I kind of did the same thing in my purge today is books that I read the first book and then either tried to read the second book and just didn't get along with it. Or I was fine and the first book was great and I'm done. And then there's someone I bought, like I read the first book and then I thought I was going to read the whole series, but it's been years since I read the first book. And I don't remember loving it that much that I still kept the series. And then, of course, there's a couple series I DNF'd and um, some I've just never started that I probably will never read. So I didn't get rid of a lot. Um, I think I added, let's see, it looks like about 15 to the stack I already had, which was well over 20. And again, most of these I'm not going to get any money for. They're old. Most of them are paperbacks from like used and other book sales. So I don't expect to get much money when I try to sell them back. And after I do that, then I will donate them all to my library. So whatever's left, because they have a sale twice a year. Um, so um, maybe somebody else will love them. Anyway, the point is I went through, there are still some books I went I kind of hesitated on, so those are the ones I'll remember next time and go, okay, well, if I haven't picked them up since, you know, that time, then that means I can get rid of them. So, um, anyway, you can't really tell. There's still a whole bunch of books. I can't point. There it is. These are now different books than what were there before. <laughs> those are actually uh, all the books I've bought so far this month already, which is already like 15. So I'm going to have to... <sighs> trying to hold off and only do one book haul this month, but I failed at trying to be good and I want to order more books. So try not to, try not to, not saying that's going to happen. Anyway, point is I still have room, um, in here. There's not as much room as I liked here. I do want to add more to my front, um, TV stand. So at some point I might show you guys that once I get it all set up. But like right now I just put a couple of the uh, Penguin Black Classics that I had that were extra that didn't fit on the shelf because my classics are all up there. Um, you know, all up this side and the other side. And um, they're all, um, I mean, some of them are like ancient ones I've had since college. And some of them are ones I bought this year that I've last two years that I've splurged a lot on. So I have a lot more classics than I had before because I want to try a lot of things. So, um, but anyway, that's still a section I need to work on. Um, as I said, most of my other stuff is pretty organized. I'm probably am going to have to, um, do the bo very bottom shelf of my, of this side. Like these shelves down here are not organized at all. I have science fiction, fantasy, um, well, those I don't mind getting mixed, but um, I have that mixed in with like uh, general fiction and thrillers and a couple of them that I have. And then uh, mysteries, I meant more mysteries. They're not really thrillers. I'm uh, mostly mysteries and horror. <laughs> They're all mixed. And then, of course, at the very bottom over here, one side was erotica and then ancient, very old gothic romances uh, from my 
that my grandmother, my mother, uh, read. Both my grandmothers, actually. But anyway, but I have, like, old collection, like, very old books. So, um, anyway, I think that's it, uh, for now. But I will show you the room so, um, you can see that I actually have cleaned the room enough that I'm gonna be fine for NaNoWriMo now. I mean, my desk is still a little cluttered, but really not so bad. That will only take me a few minutes to clean up. But everything else is put away either in the closet or I'm gonna recycle it or I'm going to sell it. So let me just show you the other side and then I will, that'll be it. Okay, so really quick, again, as I said, I'm still have too many classics. I'm gonna put some out in the front room. And then here's a stack of all the ones I'm gonna get rid of. Most of them, again, I'm not gonna get much money for, but they're the books I tried and didn't like, or I just, I'm not, I'm not interested or, yeah. So now I'm back to nice, those books are, uh, this week's books I want to talk about so they're on my chair ready for tomorrow and then the rest you can see it just it doesn't look all that much different there is one gap over there where the fan is blocking sorry but everything is still pretty packed in and uh, the front room I only added a few books out there so anyway but the floor look the floor I can now actually uh, do my extension cord a little bit better now there's <laughs> so much stuff in here I couldn't do it so anyway um... So that is it. I'm sure that was really boring, but I thought it'd be kind of fun. If you care, I don't know. <laughs> I guess because I just hadn't put a video up in a little bit and I thought, oh, I'll just do this. And I'm very proud that I got my office pretty much cleaned up. I mean, again, I still have to do some organizing, but it's much better and I'm almost ready for nano. So uh, now I should probably work on plotting my novel. Yeah, that's the next step.